Hello everyone, how to simplify this nice algebraic expression if we have 16 to the power of 5 minus 8 to the power of 8, we write this algebraic expression into the lowest form. So here first we need to focus in the basis of these terms and we write the basis into the prime factors form. So the prime factors of uh, uh, 16 uh, is equals to 2 to the power of 4 and its whole power is 5 minus the prime factors of 8 are 2 cubed and its whole power is 8. So here further in the next step we need to use here this nice exponent law you know that if we have a to the power of m to the power of n it is equals to a to the power of m multiplied by n. According to this exponent law, we need to multiply these two exponents and it will be written as 2 to the power of 4 times of 5 becomes 20 minus here we have 3 multiplied by 8 and 3 times of 8 becomes here 24. So further in the next step, we uh, need to break this exponent and it will be written as 2 to the power of 20 plus 2 to the power of 24, we write 24 as 20 plus 4. And uh, now uh, here in the next step, we need to use here this exponent law. You know that if we have a to the power of m plus n is equals to a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n. So according to this exponent law, we break these exponents and it will be written as 2 to the power of 20 plus uh, when we break these values, it will become 2 to the power of 20 multiplied by 2 to the power of 4. So further in the next step, uh, here we need uh, to take common 2 to the power of 20 because it lies on both of these terms. Uh, so we take common 2 to the power of 20 and we get the remaining values are from here. We get 1 plus from here. So here we have little mistake this is a negative sign okay this is our negative sign here we have negative sign and uh, when we take common uh, 2 to the power of 20 we get here 2 to the power of 4. So uh, here we know about that 2 to the power of 4 uh, is equals to 16 and now we uh, subtract these two values and it will become 2 to the power of 20 1 minus 16 is equals to minus 15 and here we need to focus on this term and we again break 2 to the power of 20 as 2 to the power of 10 multiplied by 2 to the power of 10 and it is also multiplied by minus 15 so uh, here uh, you very well know about that uh, 2 to the power of 10 is equals to 1024 so you easily get this value of 2 to the power of 10 without using the calculator okay uh, so here we just replace this value on both of these places so after substituting this value to the above expression it will be written as 1024 is multiplied by 1024 is multiplied by minus 15 so here uh, first we need to multiply these two bigger numbers without using the calculator. So for this first we need to uh, rewrite this value as we write it as 1000 and plus 20 and plus 4 and at the last we multiply all of these values with minus 15. So further in the next step we multiply this value on each of these values and it will be written as 1024 when we multiply it with 1000 it will be written as 1024 and three zeros plus we multiply this number with this and it will become 1024 is multiplied by 20 plus this is 1024 is multiplied by 4 and its final answer is multiplied by minus 15. So further in the next step uh, here we need to multiply these two numbers and these two numbers as well. So first we write these values as it is it will become 1024 and triple zero plus we multiply here first we consider this number this is one digit number and this is our two digit number. So here when we multiply zero with this number we get here zero and when we multiply two with this number you get here two four eight 
two twos are four, two zeros are zero, and two ones are two. Plus, when we multiply four with this number, you get here four fours are sixteen. We write six and carry one. Four twos are eight. Eight plus one is nine. Four zeros are zero, and four ones are four. So, uh, in uh, here, first we need to sum up all of these three values, and its resulting answer is multiplied by this minus fifteen. So, because calculator is not allowed in this problem, so uh, that's why we need to do all of these steps. So now here in the next step we need to sum up these values and we get zero plus zero plus six is equals to six and this zero plus eight plus nine uh, eight plus nine becomes here seventeen we write seven and carry one so this zero plus zero is zero and uh, sorry zero plus four is four and four plus zero is four four plus one is five. And zero plus four plus this zero is four. Four plus four becomes here eight. We write here eight. And two plus two becomes here four. And in the next step, we have uh, this is zero and one. These two values are remaining, so we write these two values here. So we get here. Uh, one zero four eight five seven six, and this number is multiplied by minus fifteen. So here we write this negative sign here, and we break this fifteen as ten plus five. Okay, so we write this negative sign here, and now we need to multiply this value on both of these terms. So when we multiply this number with this, you get here one zero four eight five seven six and zero. And when we multiply this number with this five, you will get here five six is thirty. We write zero and carry three. Five seven is thirty five. Thirty five plus three becomes thirty eight. We write eight and carry three. Five five is twenty five. Twenty five plus three becomes twenty eight. We write eight and carry two. Five eight is forty. Forty plus two becomes forty two. We write two and carry four. Five fours are twenty. Twenty plus four becomes twenty-four. We write four and carry two. Five zeros are zero. Zero plus two becomes here two. And at the last, we have five ones are five. So here in the final step, we need to sum up these two values. And we have this is zero plus zero becomes zero. This is six plus eight becomes fourteen. We write four and carry one, so seven plus eight becomes fifteen. Fifteen plus one is sixteen. We write six and carry one, uh, so we have five plus two is seven. Seven plus one is eight, and in the next step we have eight plus four is twelve. We write two and carry one, so four plus two is six. Six plus one is seven. And zero plus five is five, and at the last we will get here. This is one only. So here finally we have the final simplified form of the given question is one five seven two eight six four and zero. So this is the our final simplified form of the given question, and this is the final answer. And thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.